Have you ever woken up with a terrible feeling or a wondering, who the heck were you back then? Hi, my name is Linda. I'm your Back in the Groove Again coach with another video about something that haunted me. I woke up this morning thinking about something that had occurred 20 something years ago, many years ago. And I kept thinking of the moment that I made a decision and wondering now in the future, 20 something years later, how I could have made that decision. Who the heck was I at that time to make that decision? That decision impacted me, impacted my kids, changed the course of my life. It was, a, it was a decision that was very, very difficult to make, but it needed to be made. And that's what I was doubting this morning. Did I have to make that decision? Were there any other options? You know, and I was going around in my mind trying to think, you could have done something different. There was other things you could have done. But in fact, I couldn't. I was feeling trapped. I felt I was, I was choking. I was choking. I was trapped, I was choking, and I felt I, I didn't have any other choice but to make the decision that I did. And you know, now, 20 some odd years later, I'm doubting again that decision. But you know me, I'm always gonna turn things around. <laughs> of course, because if I lived in that regret, it would ruin the rest of my freaking day and it would affect Every freaking decision that I make now, doubting this, doubting if the decisions that I'm making now are good. I know that the decisions that I'm making now are good. I know they are, and I'm, and I, I know that I've thought of every possible thing before I make the decision. Just like who I was back then. You know, the decision that I made was a very, very tough one. The situation I was in was a tough one. And I made the decision and it was a good decision at the time. There was no other decision that I could have made. So I need to go back to being compassionate. I need to go back now, 20 some odd years later, to giving some compassion to that person who I was. 20 some odd years earlier and I need to and I'll do that through meditation in a bit there but I need to forgive her I need to forgive her for being in that situation where she felt she had no choice I need to love her I need to send her love and I need to you know accept that the results of that decision made us, including my kids and myself, a different person. Now, I love the person that I am today. You know, and I could, I could go on, but that's not the point. The point of this video is that along the way, there might have been a decision you had to make years ago that still haunts you today. Yeah, because mine, I woke up this morning thinking of this and it's hard. It's hard to live in that, in that feeling now because today I'm not the same person. You are not the same person today as you were 20 some odd years ago or 15 years ago or it doesn't matter. Could have been a tough decision that you made last month. It doesn't matter. Because along the way from that time you made the decision, a lot of things happened. 
you've learned, you've grown, you've matured. People around you might have changed and helped you to become the person you are today. So no regrets. Everything that you've done has been for a purpose and that it has been to teach you, to help you grow, to help you thrive and to help you become the woman that you are today or the man that you are today. So if you need to write yourself a letter, now I often do it through meditation, through mindfulness uh, meditation, loving and compi compassion meditation, where I will close my eyes and I will visualize that me 20 years ago and I will send love and I will send compassion to that, to that me in my mind. And I've also done it through letters. I've written letters to me. And I, I wrote it down. I wrote, Dear Linda. And I am, when I'm writing that letter, I'm thinking of me when I made that decision. And I will write, you know, Dear Linda, I love you so much. You had such a difficult decision to make. You, you had no choice but to make that decision. And I really appreciate that about you. The fact that you can make a decision. So, you know, whatever that issue is around whatever it was, like in, for me it was a, a very, very tough decision that I had to make. Whatever it is, that that pain point for you, you can write a letter to to you, to your younger self, to who you were back then. And, uh, you know, forgive that person. Here's one thing that I wrote. I wrote this a while ago. Where did I put it? Oh, I'm trying to... Oh, I hope I didn't throw my note out. Thank you. There it is. I wrote that down, this note. <laughs> I wrote that down a few months ago when I was listening to a podcast. Thank you for giving me the experience to grow. This has been written by... Oh, God, now I forget his name. Michael something, and I didn't write it down. Sorry. This is not my quote. This is somebody else's quote. Thank you for giving me the experience to grow, or thank you for giving me the experience that I needed to grow. That's what forgiveness is. So write yourself a forgiveness letter. And send love to yourself if you're in that situation. This is Linda. You're back in the groove again, coach. And if you are curious about my services, please go to my website at www.backinthegrooveagain.com. Also, I would love to help you get back in your groove again. And you can do that by scheduling a Back in the Groove Again session with me. I can't wait to help you get back in your groove. Bye now.